We recently showed you new satellite images from NASA showing how bright the holiday lights are in cities across the country. It is a familiar sight for two astronauts who will spend Christmas aboard the International Space Station. The mission commander, Captain Barry Wilmore, and flight engineer, Colonel Terry Virts, joining us now from orbit. Well, thanks for floating with us this morning, guys. How are you? Well, our pleasure. We're doing great. Uh, having a great time doing a lot of things up here, getting ready for the holidays, spending it together. Of course, we'll be separated from our families, but we've got each other, and we've got some plans for some gift exchanges and such, and just celebrate it much like we would back home. Now, I see some elf shoes on your feet, and I think I see what looks like a Christmas tree. What else are you guys doing up there to stay festive? <laughs> Well, we've got some stockings. Butch got us each, each crew member a stocking. It's down in the U.S. lab. Uh, we have some Santa hats and some other gear that, that we've got stored away right over there in the other module. So uh, we've got, you know, many, we've got some turkey and mashed potatoes uh, in, the, in the kitchen. So we got some uh, traditional Christmas stuff here. I, I like the sort of upside down Christmas tree look. That's a new thing. I got to try that at home. Um, you, guys, you, you guys both have kids. How do you stay in touch with them this time of year? Uh, you know, NASA's great. They, they afford us the opportunity to do video links once a week, so we get to stay in touch that way, and it's fantastic to see them. And, and you know, my, my, my daughters are 7 and 10, so I actually see them changes and lose teeth and whatnot from here. So it's very <laughs> unique, and it's a very, very uh, good thing that NASA does. So we're able to stay in, in close touch. I can't imagine the story she gets to tell at school in terms of where her dad is for the holidays. But we want to ask you about the actual mission itself. Why are you guys up there right now? So the mission that we're doing right now on our six-month expedition to the space station is science. Our, our job here is to do science, and there's lots of different disciplines that we're uh, investigating. Um, getting ready for some spacewalks is very important. Butch and I are going to go out and prepare the station for future American human vehicles, crewed vehicles, that are in February we're doing these spacewalks, and these vehicles will be uh, flying in the next few years, we hope. And so every day there's a, a different challenge. On top of all that, we have to keep ourselves in shape with a lot of exercise to counteract the effects of weightlessness. So it's definitely a full-time job that we have. Butch, you guys made some news last week when you, uh, you printed a 3D wrench from a design emailed to you from Earth. What kind of uh, impact are, are things like that going to have on the mission up there? Well, it could actually re re change everything. I mean, you may have a part that fails that you don't have on board. and uh, opportunity to print small parts and even print out the special tools that you could use to install those parts. So the possibilities are truly endless with what we can do as, as this technology goes forward. Tara, I want to ask you about these amazing images we've seen on Twitter, images of sort of the Earth from clearly an amazing a viewpoint. When you take each of these, are you still as amazed as the first one? It's amazing. I wish I could describe it with words. Um, I've seen pictures from space ever since I was a kid. I had space books and stuff. And the first time I looked out of the window on the space shuttle a couple years ago, I just couldn't believe it. I literally took my breath away, uh, saw colors that I'd never seen before. And every time you take pictures, it's a, it's a brand new experience. Well, keep those stunning images coming, guys. They're really beautiful. Safe travels up there. Merry Christmas. Captain Wilmore, Colonel Burtz, thanks so much for joining us from orbit this morning. Merry Christmas to everybody in America and everybody down on Earth. You want to play?